All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Veilguard. It's like a town builder roguelike, which is kind of weird. Uh, let's just do standard, see how this goes. Something dark stirs in the wilderness of the quiet hamlets of the Vale. Wait, and the, oh, stirs in the wilderness, and the quiet hamlets of the Vale are defenseless. A lone Veilguard does a thing. Sweet. In the work menu, cycle weapon types by clicking the weapon name. Okay. Along the road, just outside of town, a voice calls from the woods. Hold your fire. It's the Veil God. Several archers emerge from the woods, led by a ranger. They stop and address you as you approach. Welcome to the front lines, Veil God. We need houses for workers and weapons for soldiers. Let's say we've got about two weeks before the main attack. And at the moment, I'm the only defense this place has. So I hope you're as good as they say. Okay, victory. Survive 15 days or more. Defeat. Inn is destroyed or all heroes die. Build up your population in defenses and hold off enemy waves. Enemies attack at night and always come from the mist. Okay. So we have... This game is a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be. Okay. This will be interesting sound mixer. Crank it up. Bip. I'll just leave it at maximum. I guess. Okay, so we got houses. What's a well do? Improve nearby houses, attracting more workers. Most structures require adjacent roads. So what's this? Tower? So it looks like this might be a tower defense. Uh, to some degree. Okay, we also have stables. Required for horses. Horses eat a lot of food and take time to grow. Farm. Uh, additional workers. Clear. Repair. Well, build a house. Assign workers. And end turn. Assign workers. Add two workers to building. Uh, and two workers to food. End day. It rains during the night, and the morning storm has passed. More houses means more workers. Let's have them build weapons. Sign work. Oh. Add four to bows. End day. Some of your warriors have a drink in the tavern and unwind. Monsters will attack tonight. Luckily, the bows you built are enough to keep uh, to make a bowman squad. Okay, troops. Bowman. Can I can I do more than this? Oh. I see. Bowman. So we don't we don't have nearly as much uh, money as I thought I did. Okay, so the it's not a tower defense. We just have to. Can I move people around? Oh, I can. Okay. So if we're gonna get attacked by from the fog. I have to work on that. I don't have enough money for anything else. Okay, sign work. Workers are on that. People are making bows. They don't know if we need lumber. I guess let's just end A. We're in tutorial mode anyway. Scout rides into town. She says, There's no time to prepare. A warband of orcs will be here any minute. Combat. Enemies upon us. Protect your town center and don't let your heroes die. Left click, right click. Use the spacebar to slow time. Okay. Okay, it looks like they've got kind of bad AI. So we can just kind of do whatever. Okay, some of them carried great weapons indeed. Fit for a true warrior. And it looks like my guys will heal... Somewhat. Not fully. But they will heal somewhat. Okay. So now I think we're we're free and clear to do whatever we want. We don't have a whole lot of money. I'm not sure how we get more. Assign work. So lumber, farming, mine iron, no work. Okay, so that's that's construction. Well we're not gonna get any bows because we have no wood. mine some iron while we're here. I have no extra workers. How do we get gold? For combat and trade. Defenses. Guard tower. Wall. Well, okay, so we're gonna need a lot of... Oh! This is all wood. So I, I should have been I should have been doing lumberjacky stuff the entire time. Let's maybe do less iron, just all in on lumber. Okay. 
Around dusk, a stranger walks in in the inn. He represents a group of local thugs and demands payment for protection. He says it's desperate times. Trust me, you don't want to refuse. Refuse and throw him out of town. You're lucky the boys aren't in a fighting mood tonight. Okay, so that's that guy. Great. That'll be a thing. Okay, so we have 30 lumber. That's not enough for much. A guard tower might not be a bad idea. Oh, we're getting attacked tonight. Looks like it can actually potentially get... Oh, armor. Need armor. So, oh, I see. We don't, we don't have any. We do have... Spearman, Bowman... But it'll cost a person. How do we use the axes then? Axes. Oh, axemen, barbarians, and I see. So the guard tower requires these. Unfortunately, we need more money. I'm not entirely sure how we get more money. It'd be interesting to try and make like some kind of substantive defense here, but let's see. Ready to plant. Well, yeah, let's let's keep working lumber. Okay. This evening you enter the inn to find a man sitting alone, mumbling to himself. Plants seem to be growing from his garments, and he wears a large mushroom cap on his head. He claims he can improve one of your wells for for a fee. Do you trust this man tampering with your water source? Sure, let's see what he, we can do. He begins filling your well with all sorts of odd things. Toad's feet, catnip, worm wood, to name a few. In the morning he's gone, and a horrible stench comes from your improved well. Okay, and I guess we can trade with the merchant. Okay, so we can sell... Nothing. Because I have nothing. I could buy a horse, I could buy some bows, but I can make those. Well, that worked about as poorly as it possibly could. Do we get another house? Sure. I'm not sure how to make money yet. Admittedly, I'm not sure if putting anything next to the tainted well was a good idea. Alright. Let's keep one on lumber. The bell sounds, something lurks beyond the... Valley Greenskins. I don't know which heals faster, the, uh... My heroes... Or my... My little archer goons. Hopefully the heroes... Go faster. In fact, okay. Well, we get some armor. I'm not actually sure if he took damage there. Strange. All right. So he has armor, I guess. I don't know. Very confusing. Uh, maybe not confusing exactly, but uh, I don't understand. Army population day exit. So we can get a. We can't really get much of anything. The sign work. So I get a lot more people. Still have... Hair clear. I mean, I could make... Some walls. If I wanted to. But I can't... I can't go over the roads. Well, walls are just five wood each. Sign work. So... Let's have... That seems reasonable. Okay. Your guards have caught a traveler, uh, a villager trying to steal from your food stores. You need to handle this. How will you proceed? Uh, release him with a warning. I, these decisions seem kind of, I see where they're kind of going with them, but they don't mean anything. No work. Well, I can absolutely give them some more work. I wonder if my guys can shoot over walls.
But yeah, my goal here is just going to be to wall this out, so we're at least- we've just got choke points everywhere. Considering I have no money, I can't really afford- well, I guess I could get a guard tower. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have that one guy work on that, and everybody else is gonna get lumber, and we'll get a guard tower. For next time, seeing as I've got the extra axes. Okay, Archer Town Town is in need of repairs. Uh, reinforce the structure with 9 iron. It's easy enough. Oh yeah, we've got stupid amounts of spare food here. Okay, sign work. So let's... Okay, he's gonna finish that. We only need 10 lumber here. I'm actually gonna just get some iron. And then maybe we'll make some bows. Okay, strange man, man comes into town pulling a cart. He smells of filth and is covered in soot and grime. Sounds like you find his presence unsettling and you're not sure if you can trust him. Begs you to let him stay the night in exchange for what's in his cart. Let him stay, see what you get. He cleans up and gets a job in town. And we can do trading. Okay, well I guess we just got a random citizen for that, so I'll take it. We still have nothing I can do. Wait, no. I can sell goods. Not much, but it's better than I had. Okay, so now I can now I can afford some spearmen and some bowmen. I'm gonna need some bows though, which means I'm gonna need way less iron than I got. And all that lumber. Should probably take the people off of food too, maybe? Okay, greenskins are coming. Neat. Well, they're really weak, so... We can kind of just do whatever. Holy shit, Fire Arrows is stupidly powerful. Hey, these guys aren't even doing anything. This Ranger is just... This Ranger is just doing all the work for, for me. Uh, can, can you not? Oh, I see. Nothing of value is sal salvaged from the enemy. Oh shit, Bowman got wrecked. Uh, note to self, keep them a little bit further back, because my rangers should, should be tanking if I can. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want to sign work. Four bows, 60 wood. Okay, we'll just do three and three. Or, no. Let's just do two and two. Probably also make some spears. Can I? Troops, spearmen. But I have no spearhead, so it's pointless. I guess we'll just do three and three and go from there. Because, yeah, I'd like to get some more. Okay. A uh, messenger comes from a nearby town. Undead assault their village, and they will pay more. Pay anyone who can supply more troops. Found is 21 gold pieces, duration is one day. Sure. So they're gonna go get us some money, and maybe heal up. They might also die. Who knows? I don't. You mean to do the same? Okay. I'm assuming we're gonna get attacked for this. Oh, fog's over here this time. You mean to do Okay. That's fine. Defenses. I can almost make a guard tower, so that'll be... That'll be tomorrow. Pro probably? 20 wood. Yeah, we'll, we'll have enough to make the guard tower. Okay, scouts report a couple and their child fleeing towards the village. They're wounded and they're likely an e there's likely an enemy in pursuit of them. They're allowed to enter. You'll surely be attacked. Uh, quick, get him inside. Prepare for an attack. Before he can answer, an arrow pierces the man's chest, killing him instantly. His wife and child flee in terror. They're here already. It looks like it's going to be a fight anyway. Yeah, do we need iron? Uh, yes. Okay, he levels up. This increases damage. 
Oh, now he's taking damage. I wonder if I wonder if he was bugged out. Yeah, I I think he bugged. Uh, when he was level one, he was taking no damage, and I think I actually screwed that one up. All right, whatever. Defenses. Build a guard tower. Let's see, and I have enough for two more walls. Okay, assign work. No more bows. There we go, so we can get a little bit more lumber. Uh, how are my archers doing, by the way? Bullwink. Where are, where'd they go? Equip items to heroes. Interesting setup, but... The merchant is currently sitting on top of my... The merchant is currently sitting on top of my, my stuff here. Do I want spearmen? I do not. What I do want is another set of bowmen. Ooh. Get some more people. No, it's because he had armor. Ooh. Oh, is it because he had armor? Because, like, previously... Transparent. Previously, he didn't. I, I don't know. I just used armor on him, but it didn't do anything? I'm more, more confused than ever, honestly, with this game. It's not... Bad. I'm not going to have enough, but what I could do... I think that gives me enough. We're going to lose some people oh. for this. Sign work. We only need 20 food tonight. We got to get that... Uh, Guard tower up. Orcs will attack tonight. Track their movements. You say to the villagers around the campfire, pointing at the notebook. Oh yeah, it is the blue bar. You're correct about that. Let's see. Can you change bows to something else in the assigned work screen? Oh, you're right. I forgot I could make those. Okay, how can you be sure? That's how. Slow down. Let's have bowmen, spearmen, level 2 bowmen. I mean, mainly... I want to fight as close to, um... Where are these guys? I, I don't know, we've... Or are those... Is that the guard tower? Uh, does the guard tower just spit free dudes? Is that how this works? This game has terrible RTS mechanics. Unrelated. Oh, shit! I was wondering why this is so easy. They're coming from the other side. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. This is the first time we've had uh, groups come from both, both sides. Okay. Well, we get some iron for our troubles. However, we lost a lot of houses. Uh, lumber. Oh, that's a bad situation. We're probably going to just lose here. Yeah, they came from behind. I I should have paid more attention to the miss. It's just they've only ever come from one, one direction, so I don't know. Okay, large man comes into town. Okay, same dude. We get some armor. They heal up. All right. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot about this. We can get bows, axes, armor, spears. So that it, that is actually a, a perfectly acceptable thing that we could do. Well, sign work. 
Not much to assign, honestly. Can I put armor on those guys, seeing as I had spare? Cool. Yeah, I couldn't make axe troops. I wonder if we unlock them based on, like, beating a mission. Well, it's end day. It's the last day. So this time... I'm gonna let that guard tower tank. Because we win as long as, um... We win as long as we survive for the night. I'm gonna send him this way. Okay, you guys are all going for him, yeah? I think so. Okay, let's back off. They've got a general over here, but yeah, it looks like we've got this. Yeah, so the guard tower just spits infinite guards out, which is actually incredibly helpful. Alright, uh, this just increases damage further. Not that it matters too much. I'm really surprised I can't select every troop. Okay, Merchant Card has arrived. Victory! I've defended it! Alright. Each villager eats one food per day. Stables consume food to maintain horses. Yeah, so this gets more complicated as we go further. Okay, so now we have different towns we're supposed to defend. Northbury, Clearwater... So, Bowman, Iron Ranger. Greenskin, Spearman, Iron Paladin. So that's, that's technology unlocked by choosing this town. Gold, and hero who lives here, lives here will join your party. Interesting, so that really was the, the tutorial one we did, and this gets harder from here. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. I made, I made some mistakes, but it might not be as bad next time around. We'll see. All right. Uh, let's see, so this is going to be the end of the episode. A little short, but that's okay. This is going to be a short series. So I like this game. I don't like it like that much. I'm not going to go out of my way to do more than you know ten episodes or anything. I think I'm, I think it amounted to about six six episodes exactly. Six episode series. Hey, pre-recorded the whole thing. Makes it easier. Anyway, uh, so. Final thoughts on this game, it's okay. It needs it needs more time and development. It needs to be deeper. It needs to be a little bit more interesting. And it needs some better RTS controls because it uh, doesn't have any and it desperately needs some. You know, being able to make unit groups, being able to select all units, being able to set, like, guard paths and, you know, uh, AI, you know, tell them to hold position, tell them to attack, you know, stuff like that. And shame, we don't really have that ability, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, so the one positive, I guess, would, I would say, uh, there are multiple. It's not a bad game. It just, uh, it comes off as a bit flat. But the, uh, one of the, I guess, major redeeming features, in my eyes at least, is this is a one-man project, uh, from what I can tell. And as far as one-man projects go, this ain't bad. You know, there, there are some really impressive one-man projects. I'm looking at you, Tower of Guns. Uh, but as far as like a one man thing, Veilguard ain't bad. So if you wanna if you wanna give this a go, uh, it's out already. I think it's like ten bucks. On it's probably worth a look see if you're looking for something kind of roguelikey but kind of separate and uh, it's got some neat bits. I don't know. I enjoyed the experience. So guys, with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Veilguard. And as always, thanks for watching.